Today, I am canning some beans from our uh, previous harvest, both in uh, 2022 and uh, a couple older. So uh, yeah, come along for the process. It's pretty simple. First step in this canning bean process is to sort our beans a little bit. And what we're, what we're doing today is more of a five bean medley because we're going to use this for chilies and stuff later. Typically, it's better not to can the beans in directly with the chili meat and sauce. So we're canning it separate, which does allow you to use it for other things too. So we are going to use a lot of the pole beans that we uh, brew this past summer, such as the red uh, cranberry beans. These are a really good one in chilies. They kind of, they're not a kidney bean, but they do have some similarities to that. We're going to use some of the rattlesnake beans. Uh, we have two years worth of, I always say this wrong, it's Neckar gold, not Necra gold. That's just me messing that up. These, these ones are quite nice. They're very typical of what you would think of as a baked bean. As are Bama's beans, as you can see, we have quite a few. And we're going to use some of our Ireland Creek Annie beans. Now the Ireland Creek Annie is something that we did not grow this past year and it's something we're not going to keep growing even though they have a really good story with them of all the Ireland Creek Annie beans I've ever grown came from one seed. So very impressive. But in the spirit of switching to pole beans, we've switched to this uh, variety which I probably am not going to pronounce it correctly either, the, the zinc bean or zanic bean. One of those two. Anyways, these were amazing. And uh, we're not going to put them into this uh, recipe today. But uh, they are a very good replacement for the Ireland Creek Annies. But waste not, want not. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do some measuring. I'm set up to do the next bit. So we're looking for four pounds of beans. So in their dry state is sort of what's all around the scale here. So I'm going to kind of measure that out for some of these beans it's probably not going to be equal for all varieties because we know the neckar gold we don't have as many so we'll make that up in something else so i'll bring you back when we have that uh, all measured out our beans are now washed that's something you should do before uh, canning them wash them kind of do a little bit of a pick through if there's anything that just doesn't look like it's faring super well discard it didn't have too much of that but uh Basically, the four pounds of beans ended up being about two liters worth of beans. How's that conversion for something that's a solid to a liquid? So, all right, so the next step is we boil them for two minutes and then turn it off and let's just let them sit for an hour because you're not fully cooking these, but uh, you want to do a little bit of cooking before they get pressure canned. There you can see them. Our medley actually looks quite uh, colorful in the pot. This is one of the nice things about dry beans or common beans. These are all common beans, different varieties of them. Is you can have some diversity and you can save seeds and you can use them for different culinary purposes. Because it's simple. Just like this recipe. So we're going to cover these with about two inches of water and bring it to a boil. Alright, our beans had their two minutes of boiling and have just sat with the lid on for an hour and you can see they have quite multiplied in size they've lost a lot of their pretty colors but that's okay now we have to drain that little bit of water that is left in there cover them again by two inches of water and we're going to bring it to a boil and let it simmer for uh, 30 minutes and then we're going to jar these up and get them pressure canned okay well we are back and you can see we've got our Jar is all set. We've got our beans ready. They've uh, been sitting for the needed time. We'll open them up in a second. And we have the pressure canner ready. So this is, of course, a pressure canning operation. You can't water bath can uh, beans, but uh, we're going to just kind of take you through it. All right. Well, we've got our funnel. We're going to go ahead and uh, get some of these in here. Because it's pressure canning, we uh, did give them a rinse, the jars and everything, but uh, we didn't sterilize them the same way as you would for water bath canning. But there we go, we're going to open that up. And this particular recipe is 
for the beans in water, but uh, I believe you can also use tomato juice. Pretty much at this point, it's like everything else. You want a full inch of headspace. Okay, so we ended up with 13 jars, which is good because we thought we were only going to get 12. And we actually have a tiny bit left over that we're going to cook for something else later. There's uh, three liters of water in here to uh, get this pressure canner going. And uh, we're going to be an hour and 15 minutes once it gets up to uh, pressure to uh, basically get these cooked and uh, sterilized. So we're going to get the lid on and uh, get that done. Uh, there we are. All our beans are out of the pressure canner. They've cooled off overnight and they are ready to go into storage. Now, one thing that we had is we had three that did not seal. Uh, there's numerous reasons for that. A lot of it's probably a human error because a lot of these lids are old, uh, the rings, and maybe they need to be replaced. So we are definitely going to dispose of these rings. You can see over time, they do get damaged and warped. Uh, so it is what it is, but I'm not worried about that because we'll just use them. And conveniently, I suppose, we made taco meat as well. And one of those did not seal, which actually was weird because it was a brand new one, but you can see there was still a lot of uh, fat in that meat there. And it could have just been that it got between the seal and the jar and therefore did not seal up. So all in all, very, very pleased with that. We have 10 jars to go into storage for future meals. And we're going to have a delicious lamb chili for tonight.